guys today i'm do bad girls club chicago season 12 episode 4 um it's probably not gonna be in order probably be all over the place because i don't have notes but i'm looking at the screen as i go because last night was a long night i'm just saying um it started off with red fucking with jada still and she talking about i'm only doing this to fuck with her because she you Red is the type of person, if people don't fight back or argue with her back, she keeps picking with them and picking with them. And I'm like, bitch, this is how people get fucked up. This is how people get killed. I'm just saying. Because a person gets to their breaking point and lose it. And that's where you're trying to push Jada to. And I'm sitting there like, okay, you know this bitch say she been in jail. You know what I'm saying? So, bitch might have a flashback and fuck you up. I'm just saying, Red. Like, I'm sorry. Now, I'm going to just do a disclaimer already. Already. Because I don't want nobody coming at me thinking I don't like big people. I love me some big people. I love to, I love big people. I like to cuddle with big people. I like to be friends with big people. I like to eat with big people. I'm just saying. Bitch used to be big myself. Not that big, but I used to be thick myself. So, I'm not, I don't shape bigger people. Um, but this bitch, I'm gonna call her all kind of fat bitches. I don't give a fuck who comes in my comments and say something. I'm gonna call Red all kind of fat bitches this episode. But anyway, this fat bitch just want to keep fucking with Jada, like I said. And I don't agree with this. This is like borderline bullying to me. Like, girl, okay, we know Jada not scary. We know Jada will talk back. But Jada don't want to fight you. And we see that Jada don't want to fight you. You know, these bitches know who to pick their battles with. Jada wants to fight old oh, girl, but she don't want to fight her. Come on now. Because I'm like, bitch, I will run circles around your big ass. I'm just saying. I don't like Red. I thought we were gonna, all going to be liking Red. I thought Red was going to be the fan favorite. But no. I hate this hoe. Even when she was explaining outside to, um... To the girls or why she was fucking with her even uh the girl what's her name asia she was over it but she didn't want to say nothing because she don't want these girls jumping down on her so then um blue girl diamond comes and i think the house made that whole situation more than what it was okay asia was in her feelings she liked the girl i don't understand how they catch your feelings after like a week i don't get it but hey Especially when a bitch ain't even ate your shit yet. Like, how the fuck are you so sprung? But what I can say, and I love me some Blue. Blue is my favorite on this show. But Blue throws signals to her where she don't know how to take them. So, anyway, they um the girlfriend ended up coming out or whatever. She a cool little cute girl. Not ugly. Um, What else happened? Other than that, Red was, I think Red was hurting my nerves. But when the girlfriend came, they was dancing at the club or whatever. When the girl came in, um, everybody was tripping about Asia dancing with the girl. But I'm sitting there like, Blue is dancing with her. Would y'all get on this whole Blue? Because I don't understand why y'all all so pressed with Asia fucking with Blue. Like, Blue ain't doing nothing back. But they get back to the house or whatever with the girlfriend and it was awkward that Asia was sitting on that couch, but if bitch, if you trying to play it cool like you the side chick, you don't, you, 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 you sit in the same room with them and you act like you ain't pressed. But bitch, you pressed and everybody could say, see that you was pressed. Um, but I did notice, even when Blue was hugging her girl on that couch, she was still looking back at, um, at Asia. So I'm like, like I said, she throw her signals to say, hey, bitch, I understand you got a girl, but... We still gonna fuck around. Um, what else happened on this show? Before I get to punk ass Lauren, I don't like Red. I don't like Lauren. I don't like Brit. I don't understand what's up with this Fab Five bullshit. I mean, Fab Four bullshit. Um, they just put Blue in that Fab Four. Blue didn't say she was in that Fab Four. They just put her in that Fab Four. And it kind of put her in an awkward position because she get along with all the girls. And I'm like, Blue, just because I don't fucking get, you don't get along with her, don't mean I don't have to get along with her. Bitch, we grown. Kids do that bullshit. Elementary kids do that bullshit. Um, where they don't want 
people, oh, you, you talk to me, you can't talk to them. Bitch, please. I bear, Well, apparently I don't want to talk to you either because friends don't give friends ultimatums go who they can talk to. Um, but these ain't friends. I forgot. My bad. But this click shit in the house irritates the fuck out of me. Um, Alex having problems with her daddy. She got daddy issues. But I'm like, girl, you is over 21. Get over the motherfucking issues. Say fuck your daddy and keep going. She kind of give me like a spoiled brat tease. Like, oh, my daddy wanted to just think about work and he didn't think about the family. Okay, so if you know who your daddy is, keep it pushing. Don't don't harbor and try to make a relationship where a relationship is not going to happen. Because it only hurts you in the long run, Alex. I'm sorry. Now, I'm glad that she got to let us see a little bit more of her, but I'm still sitting there like, okay, this is not the show for that kind of issue. This is not the show for Bad Girls Club for Alex. I don't get it. Until I see you being a bad girl, doing some bad shit, drinking, partying, something besides complaining about your daddy, I'm going to always say, why is Alex on this goddamn show? Um, anyway... After that girl Diamond moved, go home or whatever, these girls, they snuck out to go to the club, irritated the fuck out of me, because I'm sitting there like, if you tell the girls that you guys want to go to the club and you don't want them to go, do you think they're going to be pressed about you not wanting to go? Even Blue even made like a, a thing in a confessional about that, that, um, she was like, they probably wouldn't have been pressed, and... Like I said, they were putting Blue, like, in a really awkward situation. Because Blue is cool with Asia and Jada and Alex. She ain't got no problems with them. So, I don't understand why Red and Lauren and Britt have such a fucking problem or who fucking cat she want to lick on. I don't get it. Like, I really don't fucking get that. I really don't get where, uh... Why they have such a problem with Asia? She didn't do nothing. Just like they didn't, they didn't have a legitimate problem um, with Alex. But hey, they the type of bitches y'all don't jump people. But y'all jumping people. You guys are all ganging up on one motherfucking person, regardless of if it's not physical. Y'all still ganging up on one person. And what I can say is I like about Asia. She's not scared of these hoes. She's not scared of them. And that punk ass when they went to that club and then, or whatever. They went to the club, they come back, and somebody put, uh, something, an X or something on Lauren's face. She blows the fuck up, but I'm sitting there like, bitch, Red did that. I don't care. I don't care what nobody say. Either the producers did that, or Red did it. Asia was like, it's been there. Um, everybody over there was like, we didn't do it, we didn't do it, but Red is pumping up, Red and Brit is pumping up Lauren like she did it. Blue is over here like, how do y'all know she did it, like, what just because you don't like her you saying she did it so lauren want to keep on popping off on um asia but i can say asia was not pressed with that bitch she was over there sitting there popping them nails off like yeah come on bitch come on over here you can keep talking if you want to but if your punk ass come up over here you're gonna get drugged like you um wanted to and i can say i think asia would have gave it to lauren because lauren is scary lauren talk all that she be with all that. But y'all notice all that shit she was talking, she was steady backing up from um Asia. She was steady backing up. Even when she got up on that thing, she she always jumping up on chairs. Bitch, this is what I'm telling y'all. I would tackle that hole like a football player. Bitch, you gonna stop jumping up on shit like you hard. You're gonna get tackled. I'm just saying. Um, I would have flipped that motherfucking chair over. It's just something that bitch would have been hurt and would have thought about it the next time she jumped up on something. But yeah, she didn't jump. She kept on saying, come up over here. Come up over here. Bitch, you talking shit. Run up over there. That's my problem with Lauren. Lauren talks all that shit and don't move, bust nothing. Then they getting mad at Blue because Blue is not on their side. She's on. She's not on nobody's side, but she it's right is right is wrong is wrong. And that's how Blue feel. And I like how Blue was like, all these hoes, she get beat up. And I was like, Blue, please beat up one of them. One, Lauren. I want her to beat up Lauren. I don't really too much care for her to beat up uh, Red because I be sitting there like, she gonna fuck Red up and no, no. I don't, no. I just want Red to get kicked out the house. But I want her to fuck up uh, Lauren. I really want her and Blue to get down. But we all know Lauren's scary than a motherfucking only about mouth and she's not gonna do nothing. Not gonna do another motherfucking thing. That's what irritated me. And then Red gonna say, uh, Blue, you about to lose a friend. Blue, like, who? 
who am I about to lose? And she was like, me. Bitch, bye. Blue is like, bitch, bye. We don't need to be, I don't need to be a fab one, two, three, or four, bitch, I'm blue. That's how blue was looking like. She was not pressed with red, and red felt some kind of way when she noticed that blue was not giving a fuck about how she felt. And I was sitting there like, oh my God, but somebody just smashed both of these big number one and zero, just like the number 10, I swear. They are like the number 10, and Brit is a motherfucking follower with her old basic ass she always kept calling Asia basic, but no, bitch, you're basic. You're so fucking basic. A basic bitch follows behind other bitches and don't have a mind of their own. And that's what I see from you, Brit. You talking about all this shit about you want to pop off and you want to hit Asia. Move something. Why do you need Red and Lauren for you to jump at, at fucking um, Asia? Because you don't want to go home? Bitch, you're not that bad. If you're not worried about, if you so worried about going home because you hit somebody, you're not a motherfucking bad girl. I'm just saying. A bad girl would not give a fuck about the rules or nothing and would pop the fuck off. Um, anyway, that's all I had. I didn't talk about that go kart bullshit because I didn't give a fuck about that go kart bullshit. I'm just saying. Fat ass. Ugh. I was hoping Red got stuck in the damn card again. I'm not going to even lie. But that's all I really have for Bad Girls Club Season 12 Chicago Episode 4, whatever. Um, Sorry, it's not a long video, but this season starting to irritate me already. I'm just saying. Only Asia, I, I can vibe with her and Blue. Other than that, all these hoes can go home. And I really wouldn't give a flying fuck. I'm sorry, I want Jada to snap off on Brick, because that bitch thinks she too hard, she act like she can fight, but bitch, we ain't see you do nothing, you arm wrestle with Jada, you didn't swing or nothing, so when y'all bitches start fighting and acting like bad girls, I give y'all respect as bad girls, now, I only give y'all respect as punk ass bitches, I'm just saying. So, that's my review of Bad Girls Club. I'll be back to do my half and half nice video. Like I said, I had a long night last night. So, I'm up early trying to get these videos up before my day gets started. Um, Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Xbox Live. I do everything by the ghetto view. T-H-A, not T-H-E. Talk to me and I talk back. I don't have no problems with that. We all can have difference of opinions because we all not going to like the same girls in the house because we all have different personalities also. Alright you guys, peace out.